And as I can laser press this up, I'll be six killing both the back to head as code. You remember in the last one we had a bad ending and then we had another bad ending. So it is time for us to pick a new route here on the uh, flowchart. Alright, at this stage I can't figure out how we can get into this path from here. So... I guess we'll try and go this way. From here. Let's jump in and see what different choices we can make here. That may change something. So this is when we saw the, the the footage of Ray killing someone that never even happened. And then Simon believed he should share the info with the others, I guess we'll try that. I couldn't resist the pull of fate. Sharing the video was my best, in my best interest, somehow. I didn't know why, but I wanted to do it before anything else. The part of me that didn't like that idea remembered how it showed Ray and the twins. It would cause some strife. Especially if I share it with them, so I opted not to. However, someone who wouldn't do something stupid until we had proof would be a better confident. Before I shared it, I wanted to clear up something that had been nagging at me about the video. First of all, the twins should have never met with Ray. The only instance of this being possible was after we left. If Ray and Marco had split up, then Ray came back alone, met with the twins on the way, and one of them grouped with him, then it would be fine. But I thought the twins didn't really like him. I didn't think they would ever team up with him willingly. There was also another thing. The fast forward had taken quite a while to get to the point where I saw the collarless twin. Possibly hours had passed. We hadn't been here long enough for this. Yet, there was a third thing that didn't work, but I had to check the video again to be sure. I probably have enough time. Unfortunately, I'm on the wrong side of the station to get there. I clenched my teeth. Maybe I could sneak through the hallway around the lounge if I was careful enough that no one would see me through the two doorways. I could also take the train to another station, go up, cross to the other side, come down, and take the train back to make it to the security room. The latter was a bigger waste of time, and judging by my current situation, I didn't want to waste too much of it. I really wanted to see what the twins had found in their station, but... Ah, heck. I'd have to leave that for later. Making up my mind, I decided to crawl back up the stairs. Very carefully, I walked around the corner, and then I waited until I no longer heard any noise from the lounge before I ventured further. I passed the first doorway, successful in sneaking by. The second doorway went much of the same, but as I went through and came to the staircase, there was one of the twins in the lobby. Beyond her was the station, and I could see a train there. She watched me, surprised to see me. I could either stop here to talk to her directly and inquire on what was in the, her station, or I could catch the train. If I did the latter, I would save on time, but the former would let me know. Ah, decisions. Oh my god, we got two options again. Talk to the twin, I guess. I made up my mind and spoke to her first. The train could drive off. I'd wait for it again later. So, is this G or H? It's G. You still haven't managed to differentiate us? You're both the same, it's not my fault. It's the eyes, you big moron. Just look at the eyes. I've been averting my gaze every time I spoke to them. Either out of fear of being branded something unsavory for addressing younger girls, or out of some other indescribable uncertainty. But this time, it was because of the video. So, what did you want to know? You wanted to talk to me about something, didn't you? Yeah. Uh... What did you find in your room? It was a room about stars or something. We had some constellations to match up there. It was a puzzle about astrology symbols too. Or was it astronomy? One of them. Astrology, yeah. I see. And did you find anything out of the ordinary? We found a bunch of maps for the entire place here, but nothing special otherwise. And did you meet with Ray yet? Ray again? Why are you so fixated on him? No reason, really. He's just, you know, super cute. Just making small talk. Your idea of small talk is weird as hell. <laughs> anyway, no. I haven't met up with him yet or anybody else. We just came back here and you guys arrived shortly after. Okay, alright. That's all I wanted to know. And I saluted her before leaving. I looked over my shoulder. The girl wasn't there anymore. She went back up the stairs. Phew. She wouldn't follow me. The wait for the train was a little long, but I eventually boarded it. I dropped into a seat and closed my eyes, waiting for it to go. Back in the security room, I took the spot in the chair, apprehensively looking at the console. Nothing had been tampered with. The video file was still open and paused to where we put it before. If anyone else had come here, they covered their tracks very well. I doubted any of them could handle that, so most likely nobody came by. The secret was still safe. I played the video again from the start. 
What I wanted to check wasn't really at any point in particular, so I paused the feed to avoid having any movement distract me as I observed it. Does the security room record footage from multiple universes or timelines or whatever? Or something like that. I looked specifically at the corner of the video. The feed was in the scanner room, but I could see a bit of the room was it was attached to. I narrowed my eyes a little. Then I realized what I first thought. I scrambled out of the seat, left the room and looked around the hallway. I kept my eyes low and almost bumped into the corner on the way in. Soon I was in the scanner room for the station. There was no mistaking it. The floor outside the room was exactly like the floor in the feed. All the hallways had a different kind of flooring, so this was definitely here. I could tell because the floors in the leisure and bathroom stations were different. Bedroom stations were different. How did they come here? No one but Jasmine and I ever came to this room. Not only did the time not match up, but now it's physically impossible they did it. G, H and Ray, what is your involvement in all this? My eyes opened wide in shock at the realization. Were they behind this? Not one but three people? I needed to tell someone. First I needed to tell Jasmine and then maybe someone else too. But who? Marco? Uh, but obviously they're not, they're not the ones who did it. I went back to the main room and closed the file entirely this time. There was no risking someone else finding this. After that I left the room. I took the train back to the lounge which was very a very un uneventful ride. On the way I decided the only person I could share it with was A. No not A! Anyone but fucking A! Marco wasn't there and he might stick by Ray. The twins were already suspicious enough and E wouldn't be much help. I entered the lounge again. Looking around I noticed something was a little different. The twins had gone to another station. This made it easy for me. I wouldn't have to worry about leaking the secret anymore. The twins moved out. They found some maps in their room, so according to them, they're going to... Huh. She flicked through the papers while A observed us in silence. E was there too, but she was silent and tranquil, drinking some juice on one of the couches. Ah, the pool. The room we explored together was marked as security. Remember that live feed of a church? That's a few stations further down the line. According to the maps, we've got 14 stations total. There's the lounge, and on that side, the one we explored with the security room, there are six stations. Security, Science Laboratory, Infirmary, Fitness Centre, Church, and Theatre. We could even go watch movies if we wanted to. She cracked a joke, but I didn't laugh. That's not very nice. In retrospect, perhaps that was a little mean of me. The poor girl was almost visibly crushed by the suspicion she had had to hold. After all, out of every girl here, she may as well have been alone then. The twins were suspicious, and E's presence was minimal at best. On the other side we have the pantry, the library, the bedroom, the stars, whatever that is. The pool, the recreation room, and the reactor, which sounds really dangerous. I also have things to show. It's good and all to know what, know what is everywhere, but I need to share some info with both of you. They called the old man over by some occasion, the same occasion. Has your walk been fruitful then? You've been investigating something, haven't you? Very perceptive. Seemed like this old man knew just from looking at me. Was like this transparent? If Marco was here, he'd say something along the lines of, You're not a ghost yet, though. Perhaps I'd been pale as one ever since I made my discovery. Unfortunately, we have to go to the security room. I don't think I could explain very well. That means we need to split up when we get there. It's that video, isn't it? We found a weird video. I'll explain first, and we can go see it to check directly. Oh, if you swear it's the truth and act as a witness for what each other's saying, I doubt we need to go see it on top of that. No, there's something additional to what Jasmine saw. But sure, go ahead and explain it. My friend spoke to A about it, while the old man stroked his chin and thought. My details would have to wait, since I believed I needed to show the floor first. And that's what we found. Since the twins were both here earlier, both with their collars, it's strange, isn't it? Yes, I agree. I'd like to see the additional information for myself too. Let us leave E here. She is safe, and she'll be waiting for us. I hadn't thought about E's situation. She can't stay here alone, right? Correct. Alas, all three of us should go to see this in additional information, yet only two may. Only two may. Were they going to have to have another rock, paper, scissors battle? As important as it was, I needed to circumvent it in some way. We couldn't afford to waste time for another hundred years fight. I'll go with A first. Jasmine, you can talk with E, correct? Stay here and tell her about it too. I doubt she'll talk readily. She looks like she can handle a secret. Gotcha. Okay. Be sure to share the info with me too, though. Let us make haste. Oh, he's gonna kill us. You know he is. I didn't need to be told twice. We both left the area and made our way back to the security room. 
He's killed us so many times now, he's fucking nuts. <laughs> we watched the feed and I explained everything to the old man. Yes, that is quite odd. I can't help but wonder exactly if this video is real. I narrowed my eyes a little. What do you mean by not real? You think the video itself is a fabrication? But the people in it are those who are with us. Do you think they died for real then? We can't exactly see very well. This angle isn't good. The head could easily be a mannequin, for instance. His expression darkened a little. However, this also means that Ray and one of the twins are in cahoots, for some reason or another. To what ends? I honestly can't tell. This is all too suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Perhaps they have secrets to hide. But then, these question, the questions are, which twin is it? Does it matter? And most importantly, is Smiley two of us? Ah, I see. You're suggesting that if a mannequin was used, then the twin without a collar isn't a different twin, but the same one. Precisely. It would be difficult to tell which twin is involved in this mastermind business, though. Is it H? She seems hot-headed. Is it G? She's a little shy. Contradictory. I agreed with that. I couldn't differentiate them well either until they spoke. They had, they had different personalities, but that was pretty much it, I thought. Alright, for the additional information, take a look at the corner of this video. I wound it back to where there wouldn't be anything in the way. If you notice on the way in, the flooring in the hallway here matches this one perfectly, and other stations all have a different look. Unless you tell me this floor is also in the pantry, I'm going to assume that. No, you might be right. I didn't notice that. How could I not notice? That's very peculiar. However, I say it only confirms our suspicions. My theory is that the suspicious duo has been here before already. Before the game started, they filmed themselves acting out this outcome. Then they waited for a while, and set up the tape, checked it, and left without turning off the camera. That's why I caught one of the twins without, a co without their collar, which means Smiley is two people. Alas, we can't make a move. I was pumped about the discovery, but when he finished talking, I deflated. Why not? We finally figured out who it was. He sighed, apparently having realized something I hadn't yet. We don't have enough evidence. If we confront them in the open, we will be falling right into their trap too. The best we can do is keep exploring for now, and corner them later. Okay, fine. But we should keep an eye on them, no? Unfortunately, the twins have left for the pool. At the moment, I know that Ray and M have gone to the science lab, which is one station further up from here. The one after them is the infirmary. I'd like to explore it. So it would be open, just in case something bad happened in our confrontation. I'll stay with Jasmine at the lounge then, so if the twins come back we can split them up and keep an eye on them. Not a bad idea. Let us away. Both of us left, now that our plan of action was decided. Before leaving, I remembered to close the video. Once again we rode the train in silence. So that's what we figured out. We met with Jasmine again and I explained everything to her. Theories, but nothing entirely concrete, yet. That's why we'll stay here. If the twins come back, it's paramount we grab them and question them. Yeah, but we have to be careful. Is that a good idea? I don't know. What if they figure out we're getting too close to the truth? I trust in the fact that the twins care for each other. If it comes to it, we can try and leverage that. I don't know why the culprit would put their sister into this horrible game, but... That's so mean, though. Do we have a choice? We're stuck here, aren't we? Is that mean, too? Jasmine became silent as she contemplated my words. In the meantime, A finished communicating with E and joined us both again. It's time for us to leave for the infirmary. Should Ray come back here before the twins do, please be ready to conceal what you truly know about this sordid affair. Sure. A and E vanished off from the room. I was left alone with Jasmine, which wasn't a bad spot to be in. I hope they don't take too long. I'm not completely patient right now. Me neither. To pass the, the time, I decided that perhaps I could have shared the paper with Jasmine. I still didn't know if I could have trusted her. Something was making me increasingly paranoid. We had a clear goal this time, yes that was true. However, Jasmine's behaviour still weighed on my mind. I'd chosen not to tell A, as that might have been the trigger to send him on the warpath. The paper spoke of a person who didn't belong. Was it Jasmine? Was it one of the twins? Was it Ray? I had to make this choice. Did I share the information with my childhood friend or not? Would it be helpful or would it create even further unnecessary suspicion? I didn't feel right sharing the information with Jasmine for reasons beyond my understanding. Somewhere in my head, something told me that that was wrong. And so I followed that advice. Besides, that information might only serve to drive a wedge between us, especially with what we've seen from the video. 
All of it pointed to the fact evidence was being planted to make us doubt each other. Instead of telling her about it, I pointed at the staircase. Let's wait for the others to come back then. Jasmine nodded at me. Our minds said we both made our way to the staircase. However, something bothered me still. I knew I could trust Jasmine, so why had I decided not to share the information with her? It made sense with a bit of thinking, but I hadn't taken the time to think long and hard about it. I almost instantly chose not to trust her. I sat down against one of the metallic walls. It was cold. She stood by me, arms behind her back against the wall. She too was waiting in silence. Did I have any reason not to trust Jasmine? Of all people here, she was the one I knew I could rely on the most. Where was this feeling coming from? I shook my head. Maybe it wasn't coming from anywhere in particular. It was probably, I was probably just stressed. I tried to change my mind, thinking about what the others were doing, but ultimately, it only made the wait seem even more unbearable. Finally, the train arrived on our side. Oh, Em and Ray are... But I was wrong. I didn't know why I thought Em and Ray specifically would be dropping by next. And it wasn't them anyway. It was just A. Is everything alright? Em and Ray haven't come back yet? He walked out of the train looking rather surprised. Something didn't feel right with the old man's demeanour. And where was E? The train drove off before the girl stepped outside. In fact, she hadn't been in the train at all. We haven't seen them yet. Where's the girl? Strange, I saw them earlier on my way past them, leaving their room. They seem to have been done with its exploration. I stopped at another one on the way here. I wonder why they're not back yet. Perhaps they're hiding something. And where's E? I asked again, this time a little more forceful. Jasmine looked at the both of us, uncertain of how to proceed. Is she still at the other station you explored? Yes, to put it plainly. I suppose I can tell you everything I've seen too. First, I stopped at the security station on my way back after I saw Em and Ray unlock the door, because I was curious. My train went back around and reached them, but they didn't come back. I did not see a train pass by afterwards. I waited for it to come back around yet again and took it to try and reach them. However, I didn't find them anywhere, and a few stations at the back are locked. I presume they've chosen to continue without us. Hmm, that's not good. We should go check for ourselves, I think. If you wish, then go on ahead. I'd like to go too. Perhaps we could all go together. I'm also curious about what they found in the science laboratory. Maybe something there tipped them off? Like what? I don't know. This is only a wild guess of mine. I looked at Jasmine and she did the same towards me. I didn't detect any doubts from her, so I led our little trek back to the other side of the station. Say, so, why didn't you explore it on your own? The science lab. Whatever do you mean? You came from that direction, right? If they truly finished and were done with the place, you could have scattered it out. Ah, that's true. I didn't think about that. In my hurry, I suppose I was merely looking for companionship to go witness what they have found as a team. Somehow they didn't reassure me. I passed up on further commenting on it while we made our way back down the stairs, this time to the other side on the other side. I glanced at Jasmine, as if trying to tell her that we should stay alert. Something about the old man was a little off. He's always off. The story didn't match up because there'd be no issue reaching that station on his own. While we waited for the train, I could talk to either of them. Asking Jasmine might yield another point of view on his actions, but if I spoke to him directly, I may better understand what he did. Shit, no, don't talk to him, he's crazy. I've been killed by him one too many times now, I'll never trust him again. Hey Jay, don't you think he's been acting weird? I made sure to chat with her while the old man was distracted and wouldn't hear us. I even hushed my tone, which she returned in kind. Hmm... When you think about it, it's a lot safer if you go with three people. That way, no one would mistakenly enter a station and kill everyone. What do you mean? Well, you can't be more than a duo at a station. If you have three people, one of them can stay outside and alert them if someone's coming, or let the newcomers know that the fact that there are people already up there. That way, nobody loses their head over it. You know, I really hate when you make sense, but I still think something's strange. She shrugged. By the time our conversation was over, the train had arrived. The three of us watched as the train stopped at our station. Let us go. We entered. As usual, the train did its chime before leaving the deck. We took some time getting to the lab, all of which was done in the utmost silence. I couldn't have talked with Jasmine without A hearing us, and I couldn't confront A without getting Jasmine on my back either. Finally, we disembarked. 
I propose I head up with S first and then J can come up after we finish. Is that fine by you two? That way I can explain what I'm thinking M and Ray are doing. Are they doing something wrong? I guess it depends on what they found out there. Figuring this part out may be crucial to the events that's transpiring here. It wasn't like we had a lot of choices. It was true I could head up there with Jasmine and give him the slip by coming back down on the other side, but if we did so, he could follow us anyway. Okay, I'm fine with it if you both are. Come back soon though. I'll stand guard just in case anyone else comes passes by. She crossed her arms and leaned against the wall while A and I entered the lobby. The man waited until after we were up the stairs to speak his mind. Truth be told, I was kind of curious about what he figured out too. He said it would depend on what we saw in here. I believe our comrades are trying to find something to open this door at the back here. To be entirely frank with you, I've explored this station before coming back. Apologies for my tiny lie. He motioned toward the large door that looked quite solid. By the same occasion, he reached for his bag. Somehow, that looked this looked dangerous. What if he pulled out a... It was only a key. He even handed it to me, showing the intricate shape by the same occasion. It looked like a key with an ornate handle, with a number 8 carved in metal onto it. You think that key opens this door? Fat chance it doesn't have a handle or anything. It's almost like a wall with a window. No, I don't think this key opens that door. I think it's for something else. I thought you may have found something for this. I suppose I was mistaken. I also wanted to bring you up here because I sensed you didn't trust me. Or rather, you didn't trust any of us, both between your friend Jay and me. Well, don't worry. I'm not here to judge you, but to ask you one simple question. Have you had the feeling in here that some of your actions did not make sense? Perhaps you've had a choice to make and somehow after making it, you didn't feel like it was correct. He was right. I felt that just earlier. Thinking of it, in fact, every choice I'd made was strange. I chose to go with Ray over going with Marco. What was up with that? I chose to ignore the twins. My nature wasn't like that. I wouldn't abandon a quarter of all of us trapped in here if I could help it. I chose to share information without gathering any evidence first. It was a blind jump and I took it. Why did I do that? Why did I not explore the stations on my own for a while first? I chose to distrust Jasmine. Once again, a choice that seemed contrary to what I normally should have been thinking. I'm asking because I have felt this a few times now. I'm convinced that something is making me act differently than what I should be doing. I've had that feeling too. Something isn't right. Unfortunately, I cannot control it. He gave me a difficult smile while reaching into his bag again. I thought he was putting the key back in, but I also heard a little noise like a metallic object falling to the ground. I looked down to see for myself what it was. He dropped the key. Right now, I do not believe I can understand my thoughts. Something tells me, young man, that you must be... removed. He whipped out a gun from his bag. I stared with my eyes wide open as he aimed the barrel at me. One shot was all it took, and I was blasted to the ground. Apologies. Truly, I apologize. I don't know what is coming over me, but I think this is my safest bet. I removed E, and now I must remove you. I tried sitting up, and managed to do it after all the effort in the world. My right arm wasn't working anymore. It felt frozen. What do you... Once again, sorry. I must do this, and I have no idea why. I fear I may be a marionette in some fashion. One final blow extinguished my vision and brought me down once and for all. The suddenness of the turn of events caught me completely off guard. There was nothing I could have done. What he said was really interesting, yet only darkness answered that idea. Dude, so many bad endings we've had in the last couple of episodes. This is nuts. Alright, we'll have to jump back in and find another spot there that we can actually work with. But well, we don't have much time left in the episode either, so let's see what we can find nice and quickly. So where are we? We're here, I see. So to get there we need to pick... We can pick a different option here. Let's jump in. We'll skip ahead and we'll pick whatever different cho choice we didn't pick last time. Simon hurried to catch the train. I gave the twin a quick wave before moving on, just as quickly. I had to be fast to catch the train before it left. I managed to do it in, in extremis. And as soon as I stepped in, the chime rang and the doors closed behind me. I panted and dropped into a seat, closing my eyes and waiting. Back in the security room, I took a spot in the chair, apprehensively looking at the console. Oh, we can skip again. Cool. Wait, is that going to change anything though? Looks like it didn't change much. I had to make this choice. 
Did I share the information with a childhood friend or not? That's right. Would it be helpful or would it create even further unnecessary suspicions? I didn't feel right sharing. Oh, okay. So once again, we don't get to really make that choice. I guess that's based on what actions we've made. We can talk to you now. I have a question for you. Oh, by all means, go ahead. Which stations were closed when you went up north? The old man frowned a little, visibly trying to think about them. Was that genuine or... No, it was a little forced. He was definitely acting. The man knew more than he revealed and his pause was telling me he was hiding something. The two stations that were closed were the gymnasium and... Is that where you left, eh? Ah, yes, indeed. She asked for it, in fact. Then I'm sure you won't mind if I head there and check up on her first. I'm sort of worried over her, you understand. That makes complete sense, of course, but... Hey, what are you two plotting? You want to go check on the gymnasium and then come back for the laboratory? Wouldn't that be impossible? Huh? If we go on this side, the only way we could get back would be to leave the station we already explored. So we can walk to the other side, due to how the trains work. Otherwise, we'll have to solve it. Precisely. I glared at Jasmine. She gave him a way out. What was she thinking? That way, we'd, we'd be much better off stopping at the science lab first. I sighed, shrugging in a very obtuse fashion. The train was arriving anyway, so our discussion was cut short, and after this betrayal, it only reinforced my feeling of distrust towards Jasmine. What was she thinking? The three of us watched as the train stopped at our station. Let us go. We entered. And we're skipping again. Groovy. And the same ending. What he said was really interesting. Yet only darkness answered that idea. <laughs> Door bad end. Same again. That did not go well either. I guess we're going to wrap this one up here. First let's have a look at the flowchart and see where we're at. So we can make a decision on what we're going to do next time because I really don't really know what the next step is going to be. We could we could start working on a different area. Because that brought us to the same place no matter what. That means we have to make very specific decisions on the way I believe to that so that we will actually uh, give the information over to Jasmine without it being like forced you know what I mean we're only at 50% on like a lot of these which means we're missing a lot here I don't know maybe we'll have to jump right back and uh, trust Jasmine all the way and maybe that'll let us go through I don't know we'll figure it out in the next one until then I guess enjoyed it thanks for watching thanks for hanging out for me and I'll see you in the next episode